Hey guys, welcome back to another ship tour. Today we're focusing on the Carnival Liberty. We sailed her over New Year's and had an absolute blast on her. She's absolutely beautiful and first time we've ever sailed a Conquest class ship. So let's come along and look at this beautiful ship deck by deck. So decks one and two are all staterooms. So let's head on to deck three. We're gonna start in the forward area of the ship. Here we are coming to the Venetian Palace main lounge. This is where all your main entertainment shows are at. And I absolutely love this style of theater. The comfortable seats, you actually have room. It just, I love the classic carnival theaters. Just look at it. And still with the old classic carnival touches with the Venetian masks, Kind of took us back to when we sailed on Venezia in September. All right, now we are in the flowers lobby. So this is your main atrium area. And it was still decorated for the Christmas holiday season. So that was so nice to see. Of course, you got the bar area. Plenty of seating just to sit and relax and listen to music. And they even have some trivia in here some days. And we watched the New Year's Eve party. Well, one of many New Year's Eve parties that night in the atrium, as you can see here. Still more seating over to the other side here and we are coming to our Carnival Adventurous desk or short excursions. Here if you have any questions on any short excursions or if you want to purchase a short excursion this is where you go. And here is one of two main dining rooms on the ship. This is the Golden Olympian restaurant. This was our assigned restaurant. We had anytime dining on this sailing. And this restaurant does have two tiers on it. So obviously this is the first level and we got the second level right above us. And here you can see the overall look of the restaurant. Okay, let's leave the Golden Olympian. Check out more seating available. And we're gonna be passing by the guest services area. These are the people I give a lot of credit for <laughs> dealing with the customers. Being dealing with customers myself in real life, I give them a whole lot of credit. Now we are heading to the Silver Olympian and just loving this beautiful foyer atrium area to the restaurant. This as well has two levels. This is your assigned time dining room. So this is your early and late dining. And you would also have your sea day brunch here as well.
All right, let's head on to deck four, where you will find the second tier of the Venetian Palace main lounge. And we will find Circle C. Circle C is when the kids clubs were, it's ages 12 to 14. And also find the second tier of the Golden Olympian restaurant. And just outside the entrance of the Golden Olympian is the Pixels Photo Gallery area. And yes, you're going to see a lot of these areas dark because I like to do ship tours when it's like early morning. So there's no people in my way. <laughs> All right, now we're in this area called the cabinet bar. This is like a venue that wasn't really used that much, but we did see a wedding here one of the days we were on board. Now we are going to the second tier of the Silver Olympian restaurant. Now we're on deck five where you find the highest tier of the entrance to the Venetian Palace Lounge. Then let's go shopping. Just outside the palace, Venetian Palace, there are the fun shops. Here you can get your caramel merch, your tobacco, your liquor, any toiletries that you may have forgotten about. You can find it all here. And the Skybox Sports Bar is here as well. So even if you're gone away on a cruise, you won't miss the big game. And there's even the entrance to the casino here as well. Yeah, Sars Palace, we made our donations. <laughs> And luckily this is a port day, so all the machines were down, so nobody could yell at me. Right outside the entrance of the casino is the cherry on top. So you could get your sweet tooth fix here. And there is more shopping. And this whole area is more, more or less the high end. So we got your shiny stuff and your smelly stuff here.
All right, let's head on towards the aft and walk through the promenade area. So we're going to be walking through some of the casino. Bunch of seating areas. And heading towards the promenade bar. So basically your casino bar. Got a little empty space there, unfortunately. But this is the internet cafe. That's if you don't have your device and you just need to check on something, you could go there. And then we have the Jardin Cafe. This is basically your your coffee spot, your or your Java Blue. Then we have Club O2. So this is for the kids 15 to 17 to hang out at. Which is a cool little spot for the teenagers to hang out at and get away from the parents. And I mentioned already about all the seating areas. I just absolutely love that. And they still had their Christmas gingerbread cookie display out. I love that Carnival does that. Now we're in the video arcade. So basically the casino for kids. It's actually pretty amazing how big the arcade was on this ship. It seems narrow here, but it goes all the way back and off to the right. Like I said, it's pretty decent size. And now we are to the nightclub, the hot and cool nightclub. Just looks so funky with these big hands holding up the ceiling. <laughs> We're not really nightclub people, so we never really saw it in action, but here's a nice quiet view of it. And one of our favorite spots, the Alchemy Bar. This is the place where if you're ailing of anything, they will cure it. <laughs> And usually the bartenders are very fun at the Alchemy Bar. Next, we're going to the Piano Bar. This one's called the Piano Man Bar. And it is just so cool. It's actually theming with piano keys. Just very eclectic. And now we are heading to the Victoria Aft Lounge. 
This is basically your comedy club area. And this place is huge. You can see all the seating, all the spaces, a lot of comfortable spaces. There's even little ledges that you see off to the side here if you just want to stand and watch the show. And even lots of seating by the bar. And right next to the Victoria Aft Lounge is the stage bar. I believe this area, we really didn't hang out in this area, but it's more or less like the karaoke area. All right, so decks six, seven, and eight, they're all state rooms. So we're gonna head on to deck nine and hang out by the Lido area. Of course here you would have your guy's burger joint, best burgers at sea. And right next to the guys is my favorite side, the Red Frog Rum Bar. And then right across the way from Red Frog is the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. So with that being said, what side are you on? Are you a Red Frog or a Blue Iguana? Let us know in the comments below. I'm a red frog. And of course you got your main little pool area. And we got the blue iguana cantina where you get your breakfast tacos or burritos in the morning or your tacos or normal burritos in the afternoon. The breakfast burritos are so good. You gotta get them with the crisp of potatoes though. That makes the burrito. All right, and you can see in this Lido area, the seating's all like stadium tiered, which makes it nice. It kind of breaks up the Lido crowd. If you want to sunbathe, at least it gives more room for people that just want to lounge out by the pool. And there's even a slide in this area as well. All right, let's head inside to the Grand Buffet. And like I said, this is very early morning, so they were all getting ready for the breakfast areas. So this is one of the omelet stations, but during the day itself, it's sushi at sea. And of course, the buffet is your 
typical normal buffet area. But those pastries look good. <laughs> Now, being on the opposite side, it's another omelet station for breakfast, but this is also the deli during the day. Alright, let's head on over to the aft side to the Versailles pool area. And yes, as you could see, the pool has a retractable roof on top. So, this cruise was in the cooler temperatures, so it made it nice and comfortable. And then we got the pizza pirate for that yummy carnival pizza. We got a bar area here. And this whole area back here is very nice. If you want to get away from the loudness of the Lido area, just come back here and just chill. Even two hot tubs back here as well. And on this side, we have the seafood shack. It is an upcharge, but if you're craving any like fish and chips, popcorn shrimp, lobster roll, this is where you would go to get it. Alright, let's head on up to deck 10. Looking over the stadium seating where there's more hot tubs out by the Lido area. But we're going to head on to the slide area. There's no waterworks on this ship. There's one slide, the Coney Island Pool, and there's actually a pool area up here as well. And of course, more sun loungers on the 10th floor. Got the DJ booth right here. And we're heading towards the aft going this way. You've got your bench seating. We even got some chairs and tables with umbrellas here. Also on the 10th floor is the Diamond Steakhouse. We actually ate here on New Year's Eve and it was phenomenal. It's nice and spacious. We got a bar area here. Just a pretty restaurant. Even got diamonds on the ceiling.
All right, we're on deck nine for a split second here, but we're in the buffet area, but we're gonna go up these steps to the old fashioned barbecue. Now, old fashioned barbecue is basically guys, pig and anchor in a nutshell. It just doesn't have the name. It has your normal fixings like your pork, your beef, your chicken, the mac and cheese, the beans, the bread. It just doesn't have the guy's name on this. But it's basically the same. Now we're on deck 11 to the Carmel Spa area. So here they do actually do have a barber shop for the men. And the opposite side, they have a beauty salon for the women. Now we're gonna head on back to the ladies locker room. Here you can have your lockers, you could grab a towel here if you wanted to. They have bathroom facilities, they've got showers, and they even have handicap accessible showers, which is pretty awesome. And they also, on both sides, the men's and women's, there's a sauna. And both sides, as well, is a steam room. Let's head on over to the gym. Of course, it has your normal workout machines, treadmills, ellipticals. I know it's dark, I, like I said, it's early in the morning, but at least you have a nice view of the ocean while you're working out. And besides the gym, we also have the sports deck. You could play basketball, volleyball here. You got a jogging track. We'll look at the sports court during the daytime now. You just walk up past this little gate area. You can see the volleyball court there. On the opposite side is you go shoot some hoops. And this space is a little weird. On this side, it's like a wide open deck. Like there's nothing here. A couple loungers up here, but look at this, all this open space. Now the opposite side, there's another set of stairs, and that leads you to the mini golf area. At least this is still the old-fashioned mini golf. Unlike the other, like newer carnival ships, or even the refurbed ones that've gone for dry dock, I like this a lot better. Just my opinion, though.
And now let's get some adult time at the Serenity area. This Serenity is actually two levels. So this is the first level with the whole bunch of loungers. And there is also a bar down here as well. Just nice, comfortable seating. Wouldn't be Serenity without the clamshells. But I found this a little odd, should I say? If you look in the far corner here, you actually see the playground for Camp Ocean. I thought that was a little weird, but hey, I didn't design the ship. <laughs> So on the opposite side of Serenity, on deck 12, there's a whole bunch of gaming areas. Like there's ping pong here, huge chess board. Even more ping pong tables. So I'm actually gonna turn around and you can see the entrance to the playground for Camp Ocean. I wasn't able to get inside Camp Ocean this cruise, so I can't show you the inside, but I can show you the playground. It's a cute little area for the younger kiddos. And Camp Ocean is ages from 2 to 11. But like I said, in this little corner area, that's Serenity. Now we're on the top floor, the highest deck we could go. And this is the top tier of Serenity. So there's more clamshells up here. So you can just sit and relax. And there's even a couple of hot tubs up here. And leaving from the Serenity area, you'll find the entrance to the water slide. And they just have just one water slide. It's not the waterworks upgrade, but it still looks like a heck of a good time. But I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me deck by deck on the Carnival Liberty. If you like this type of content, please let me know. Hit a like, subscribe, and comment. Have you sailed the Liberty before? And also, did you know I'm a TA? Click the links below for my TA information. I can help you book the Liberty. Alright guys, until the next time, we will see you on the next excursion.